Last week, a group of Jews and Bedouins were arrested after the Bedouins threw stones at Jewish hikers in the Shamron. Since then, evidence has arisen, which Jewish nationalists argue implicates the police, with working with the Bedouins to disrupt the hike. Shalom to Daniela Weiss, longtime leader in Yesha, and witness to the events. Shalom, shalom. So what happened on the hike? In general, the hike, uh, it started from uh, Chomesh, uh, even from Sanu. A few boys were marching from Sanu to Chomesh, and then to Shvutami, and uh, all the way through the mountains of Samaria, Shomron, to Hebron. A five-day hike. Uh, and uh, we slept uh, um, on the mountains, wherever we could. We, whatever point we reach, in the night we slept there. And uh, as we were approaching Kohava Shacha, or to be more precise, uh, the new outpost, Maoz Esther, um, the Arabs, uh, actually these are Bedouins in a Bedouin camp, uh, not far from Kohava Shacha, very uh, close to Maoz Esther. They attacked us with stones and with sticks, and they were literally stoning us, and they wounded four, uh, three boys, three or four. Uh, three were uh, wounded in the head, and uh, one in his leg, and another one in his leg. And what we discovered soon was that the, it was um, a cooperation, if I can use this word, between the police and the Bedouins. The, the police were hiding in the tent with cameras, and uh, when the Arabs, uh, when the Bedouins started stoning us, they took pictures of the of, of everything instead of protecting us as we were marching. But what reason would the police have for engaging in such activities? This is not the police. But what are, uh, from uh, different things that I, uh, different uh, information that I uh, collected, uh, I, I understand that they wanted us to prevent us from continuing our hike. They didn't like the fact that we were walking freely without getting any permit, neither from the army nor from the police. Uh, actually, we did it all on purpose because we wanted to give a clear expression to the basic idea that Jews are to walk everywhere in Eretz Israel and that we do not have to get any permission for walking and hiking in our own homeland. Then what did the police reveal in court? Yes, the, the four people who were arrested, two, two of them had guns and the, the police took the gun from them, and uh, they were brought to the to court. And the, the the peculiar thing, the strange thing is that the the people from the police they said in the court that they were hiding in the tent and that they were taking pictures, and they said that they did it because they thought that we will cause trouble in the course of the hike. And uh, this is a very, very strange thing. First of all, that they admit that they were hiding in the tent. That is, is to say it is so clear that everything was a collaboration between the police and the Bedouins. It's clear. They wouldn't enter there without saying, here we are, soon Jews will be marching here, will be hiking here here and so on and so forth, and you understand what you have to do, and we will give you all the protection in the world. Oh, now, it was said clearly in the court that they were hiding in the tent with a cover on, and that their purpose was to take pictures of the hikers, assuming the hikers would attack, but those who attacked were the, the Bedouin. Now, are there any plans to request disciplinary action against the police? Well, we are now uh, working in different uh, angles. We want to, to deal with it uh, through uh, members of Knesset, through ministers, may 
maybe even through the media, even uh, my talking to you and bringing this to the public. And uh, there is a number of lawyers who are now dealing with it. We are collecting all the relevant material and we, we consider uh, suing the policemen in a, very, in a personal manner and also in a public manner. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. And here is the Israel police official response. The plans for the hike were known by the security forces, the IDF, and the Israel police. In coordination with the IDF, it was decided that the army would take care of securing the participants and the police would be in charge of public order. In accordance to that, when the events became violent, the police officers interfered and arrested five of the activists and two Bedouins.